Hi, I'm Katie, and this is your Galco Industry News Update. This week, we'll be talking about a high-temperature device that produces electricity from industrial waste heat, ABB's acquisition of BNR, and futuristic water taxis. MIT researchers have developed a liquid thermoelectric device with a molten compound of tin and sulfur that can efficiently convert waste heat to electricity, opening the way to affordability, transforming waste heat to power at high temperatures. The MIT researchers built a thermoelectric test cell that operates in a liquid state at temperatures from 950 to 1074 degrees Celsius. Notably, no significant performance drop was seen even when cycling between temperatures over several hours. Commercial thermoelectric devices based on materials such as solid-state bismuth telluride operate about 500 degrees Celsius, and a block of it costs 150 times more than tin sulfide per cubic meter. Tin sulfide, once melted, is able to provide consistent thermoelectric output up to 200 degrees above its melting point. This liquid thermoelectric device operates in conditions that are relevant to industrial applications, while tin sulfide is appealing from a cost perspective. Thermoelectric devices work by sandwiching together materials that produce an electric voltage when there is a temperature difference between their hot and cool sides. In reverse, they can be used as cooling devices by turning an electric current into a temperature drop. The environmental benefits yielded by producing electricity from waste heat are unlikely to be a primary motivator for glass and steel makers to adopt this technology. However, if the thermoelectric management of that heat allows producers to operate hotter, in turn increasing productivity and equipment lifespan, then they will be more likely to adopt it. ABB announced the acquisition of BNR, the largest independent provider focused on product and software-based open architecture solutions for machine and factory automation worldwide. With the acquisition, ABB will expand its industrial automation offering by integrating BNR's innovative products in VLC, industrial PCs, and servo motion, as well as its software. ABB will offer its customers a uniquely comprehensive open architecture automation portfolio. Through the acquisition, ABB expands its leadership in industrial automation and will be uniquely positioned to seize growth opportunities resulting from the fourth industrial revolution. In addition, ABB takes a major step in expanding its digital offering by combining its industry-leading portfolio of digital solutions, ABB Ability, with BNR's strong application and software platforms, its large install base, customer access, and tailored automation solutions. BNR will become a part of ABB's industrial automation division as a new global business unit called Machine and Factory Automation. The new unit will be headed by Hans Wimmer, who is currently managing director for BNR. BNR's operations in Austria will become ABB's global center for machine and factory automation. And the startup company C-Bubbles was in Paris recently for the Viva Tech Conference to show off its water taxi prototype to its investors. The prototype is about 14 feet long and a little over 7 feet wide. It operates on a 20 kilowatt hour battery and a 2 by 10 kilowatt motor. The vessel lifts onto its foils at 5 knots and can achieve a top speed of 14 knots or about 16 miles per hour. The boats hover inches above the water thanks to the same physics phenomenon that allow the Hydro Tier sailboat to set water speed records. In order to provide a seamless experience to their users, Sea Bubbles created a virtuous ecosystem including the bubble, the dock, and the app. 
They are all working together to offer a best-in-class transportation experience. 100% electric, the bubble is autonomous during its rides and charges while people are getting in and out while stationed at the dock. People can enter from the side door with the help of a hostess. The bubble will start flying above the water, preventing from any seasickness, sudden movements, or waves rolling. Once the ride is over, the bubble slowly comes back to the water level to reach the dock, letting its passengers out. But sea bubbles faces enormous challenges. Convincing cities to sign off on an incredibly low capacity transportation service one sea bubble can carry a maximum of eight passengers, while a municipal ferry can carry almost 200. They also have to prove that these vessels are safe and install dockside electric charging stations. That is it for this week's industry update. Make sure you stay tuned next week for more in the latest news in electronics, automation, and robotics.